In this screencast, we're now going to use some of the modules we've already set up in the previous module screencast to create the ability to import data into our application. So the data we're going to import will be um, the style, the, the list of uh, styles of beer. And to get set up to do this, um, it turns out I, uh, I've experimented and we're going to need a spreadsheet in Excel format. I tried downloading one from Google Sheets and that didn't seem to work. So you need an actual Excel spreadsheet as far as I can tell. And if you're using Amazon Workspaces in the course, you likely don't have Excel installed. So you can use Dropbox or Google Drive or something to get yourself a, a, a sheet. But I've just gone ahead and set one up for you. So if you open up inside of Works, uh, your Windows environment, go to the course website, and then uh, go to Files. And I may have this linked more directly. But if you go to Files and you go to Mendix Files, you will see something called styles, which is a list of beer styles. Um, and we can um, we'll see the preview here. Um, there are two columns, style and description. I threw in a few that I got from the web and a few. At, um, I only uh, put description on a few of them, but you could add them for the others as well. And what we want to do is download this. So we're going to save it somewhere on uh, where you can find it. OK. So we've saved it. OK. So we're going to need that later because we're going to see how we can import styles. And you can import any kind of data, which is cool. You can So you can set this up. And I'm going to show you how this works. So the first thing we need is um, you'll notice I added a second column to the sheet description. So a style has a name and then a comment. I thought that would just show that it's not just a single column. I figured that would be interesting. So we need to go to our style uh, entity and add a second field, which you could call description. And we should then go to the style list and style info and add description there. So I'm going to the style list. And I'm going to go to Toolbox, and we'll pull in a text box. Uh, Got to scroll down to find this. All right, so we have style name. I'll pull in uh, a text box right underneath it. And we'll say that this is um, description. We don't need the label. Um, so we've got that. And all right, so we've set that up there. And then in style info, we'll go ahead and in addition to style name, we'll drag in description. We can do it as a Xbox right here. Double click, set this to description. OK, so we've updated our um, app here. And we could run it, but I think I'll hold off on that for now. Uh, what we're going to do now that that's all set up, we've got a place to store this information. We've got our spreadsheet listing all the styles we want to bring in, is we need to now add an additional module. And this is the Excel import module. So we, uh, you want to open App Store. And if you look at the most popular um, plugins, you'll see one is called Excel Importer. That's the one we want. If you look at documentation, there is a pretty detailed description. And it tells you uh, a, some of the details we're not going to do get into right now. But you'll see that the Mendix environment, in fact, we have a much more advanced version of that. We need this reflection module. And this um, other thing we, we already, this is a technical detail. Basically, we need the module, um, this other stuff we already have. And then there's some notes about configuration, which um, I'm going to walk you through, but you can read through this to find it. So I'm going to click Download, the Excel Importer. And we're adding it as a new module. Successfully imported. 
So we see Excel Importer here, okay? Now, again, we see with this module, we need to add some pages. In this case, it's gonna be a little more complicated. There is the ability to uh, set up an import template, and then the actual processing of the import, we're gonna sort of customize. Okay, so we wanna look and see where under Use Me, Excel import overview. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our navigation and um, we need to add another admin thing. And this is going to be the part of this uh, app, um, this module that lets you set up various import templates. And then you, uh, as an admin, you do that. And as a user, you use the template to then import actual data. So I'm gonna go and add a new item, and we will call it Excel Import Configuration. And we'll just use a, a wrench again. And this should open a page. So we want templates overview right here. Click OK. The uh, other thing we have to do is we have to make sure that our administrator has access to this module. So if you go to user roles, double click on administrator, click to edit their roles, we see that the Excel importer, we need to give them the configurator role um, so that they are able to actually um, do this configuration. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, now we can go ahead and run our app and see if we can um, add uh, a template. We're once again prompted to update the database because we've added more data with this new module. Now we're ready to view. We will go in as an administrator. We will go to the admin menu, Excel import configuration. So maybe not the friendliest screen. And again, you kind of have to find your way through this. But if we go here, what we want to do is create a new import template by pulling in an Excel file. So we're going to actually use the Excel file we have to define the import. So if I do new template, um, I'm going to browse. So I actually am browsing on the file system and I'm looking for this thing called styles that we downloaded. And I'm looking for, this looks like the one that just got downloaded. We'll double click. And we need to make sure it's going to use the first sheet. Um, the first row is the header row and everything after that is going to be imported. So we save and next. And what we have now is if you scroll down, it has found our two columns, style and description. And what we have to do is take those columns that are in the spreadsheet and map them onto something in our data. And this is where this reflection module um, comes into play. So one thing, if we haven't already, and we probably should go ahead and redo it, we should probably update the reflection. Um, see a previous screencast, but what we wanna do is we want to go to uh, reflection module setup. And if we look here, let's see if it's picked up on the fact that styles actually has, um, see it only has name there. Uh, we've added description. So what we want to do is come up here and refresh. You would only need to do this in a situation where you've changed your data. So now we have description and style name. So hopefully what we can do now is if we go back to, um, let's scroll up to the top here. If we go back under admin, we go to Excel import configuration. Okay. And this was, you'll notice that the thing we had got saved. Okay. And wasn't given a name. So let's give it a name. So we want to call this stuff. Um, beer style import. Uh, we could put a description here. We have to pick a, a Mendix object. So we're given a list from our import. And by the way, this is not something that the end user would do 
This is more likely something that the admin would do or you would do. So the object we want is style. Okay. And there are more complex things like you can have this automatically linked to other objects. But for right now, what we want to do is we want to create an object for each row. We're not trying to update and synchronize. That would be more complex. And so now that we've done that, we have to map each of these on, right? So if I double click here, the data source is a cell value, okay. Do not use, no, nope, we wanna actually use that data and we wanna map it to an attribute. It is not a primary key. Um, which attribute do we want to um, do the parse with? We can skip for attribute, I click here and style gets mapped to what we called style name. Okay, save. So you'll see now that this shows that I'm mapping it to style name, and then I'll do the same thing with description. It's an attribute. I want to add, uh, map it with description. Okay, and now we're going to save this. So you now, notice that we now have a style that we could use to do an import, but we need to do the import. And the import actually needs to be set up uh, using a, a different technique. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to do this. I'm first gonna show you a way that's um, maybe a little clunky, and then we'll, we'll go from there. So we come back to our model, and what we need is we need a way to uh, manage the imports. I'm pretty sure that that is the um, import overview. So I'm going to double click on that. This notice is one of the things under Excel importer. And this is the one. I remember this is the one. So this is not very friendly to a user, but it will get the job for us today and then we can modify this uh, possibly in a subsequent screencast to be more user friendly. So the way this is going to work is this import overview will let us pick a file, in this case, uh, the same spreadsheet we just used, map it to a template, the template we created, and then click import to do the import. So we need to make that available. I think we'll go ahead and make that available to our um, admin only for now. We're not going to have anyone else do this. So we go to navigation and we will go ahead and we'll put this on the admin menu as well. Depending on the training of your admin, again, you might uh, tweak and customize this and we'll talk about that. And add a new menu, I will call it Excel Importer. And we will give this an icon, maybe something that's got like a, something that almost looks like a spreadsheet. And this is going to show a page and the page we want to show is import overview. Okay. And let's see if that uh, is enough to get the job done. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and save this. We are going to run it. And now we're going to go back in. We better log in again as the admin. And we'll do Excel Importer. So we're going to create a new file. Um, this is a misleading page that pops up because what we want to do is we're not at, um, it's the beer style uh, import, which we've set up. And now we're going to go find the same spreadsheet. Okay, and this time we're using it for actual data. And so we'll click Save. Okay, so this is all set to go. And now this will, if we select this, we can then run the import. So once we've, we've queued up the import, we now run it. The import is finished. And now if we go to styles, we see all these styles got added. All right. And you'll see some of them have descriptions. And there we go. We could actually do India Pale Ale and say very bitter. Okay, so we were able to do this. 
And with this process, again, not the friendliest interface, but you could go through and you could set up imports of all kinds of spreadsheets. Now, if we go back to that page, that importer page, it wasn't very friendly. You know, it, it, it made you click on a lot of extra steps. Uh, in a subsequent screencast, I will show you how you can go in and actually create something yourself that does things more exactly what you want. So, for example, instead of having that import um, overview page that we added, we could create a page of our own, and that page could just pop up the uh, form that popped up in import overview. So we'll go back here just to show you that. If you go uh, here and you do new, we could have this pop up. We could automatically choose the template and it could be something like import it, select uh, style file to import. And you would just uh, click on that and automatically run the import. So we could, we could make this a little friendlier. But for right now, this will get the job done. And we'll, again, we'll talk about that in a subsequent screencast.